Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well today. We are January 10th, Tuesday morning. Um, well, I weighed in. I am at three, I'm sorry, 278.4. It is better. It's coming back down. I'm, now I'm stuck in that little section right now. It'll get better. Um, some of the questionable food choices I made uh, two days ago are obviously going to play a role in the next couple days still. And, um, and but yesterday was a fantastic day. so a very good day when i come back to work it, it's so much better so much um so much safer <laughs> i know i spoke about this yesterday but it really is so going to work i had my coffee in the morning i'm really starting to like that coffee well sort of i mean it's not great great i'm still not a big coffee lover but i, I see the benefits okay it helps me go to the bathroom mm -hmm. um and it's it's not horrible i guess for, for my, my my the taste is not horrible but it's a very good machine i think i told you guys about this There's, this machine's worth almost as much as a car so i guess it makes a really good uh coffee that i even i can drink i suppose and it's a kind of a latte so i have some milk in it um anyway so i put about 100 calories down in that coffee and um no sugar and uh I, but i do put a sweetener i forget what it's called but it's like a uh, zero calories Anyway, so uh, I had that uh, in the morning, and then for lunch, I ended up having my shake, so that's 150 calories. Let's call it 300 calories going into dinner. Dinner time, uh, I decided I wasn't going to take a chance with my pizza. I was looking it up online, and usually they say cream of mushroom. You don't want it in the fridge for more than three days. I, I couldn't remember. I suppose I could have looked at my videos there, but I think it was like Tuesday or Wednesday I made them, so I'm like five, six days. That's too much, so I'm not going to risk it. It's unfortunate because they were really good pizzas, uh, but I've got, I'll make more. Uh, my wife came back yesterday with the groceries and we were now all stocked up, uh, but she said she had to shoot out my pita bread. The pita bread that I had was already getting moldy. So I don't know, maybe I got a bad batch or something, uh, but it is what it is. I, I think I have to go buy a couple more things now. I got to get my pita breads, but for the rest, I'm good to go to make a new batch. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to need those. I'm going to need those. They're very helpful. So. Uh, Tonight, well, today so far, um, I've, I've been doing very well. I actually haven't had anything, so I guess I'm doing great so far. It's almost 11 o'clock. I'm going to have, uh, I think I'm going to go with my shake today. I'm going to try to make a little push there to get under my 275. So shake it is. And plus dinner, uh, my wife is trying something new and wants me to try it. It's a potato uh, soup, some kind of new potato soup. With a side of she wants a side of sausages. I'm trying to convince her with a little side of chicken. We'll see how that goes. So if it's sausage, well, I guess I'll I'll have very very few sausages. Um, I think the ones that we get are 220 calories, 220 calories. So I can take technically take two sausages. The soup looks like it's about 300. That would give me 700 and something. Uh, give me I'd be under a thousand for the day, which again is good because I I ate so much uh, the day before two days ago. So I'm good to anyway. So, uh, but sodium might not be great. So I'm going to try to be good, good, uh, calorie wise, at least. So I know I'm losing weight. And then when, if I, if I can just get a good three, four days of constant, you know, like my pizzas and my shake, if I can do that for three, four days. Then I should be like last time where I have this massive drop would be nice to do, get that in before we leave for Los Angeles. So I can actually see where am I sitting? Probably not 270. Maybe I'll be 272, 273. I can live with that. I can live with that right now. So, um, uh, what else is new? Uh, let's see. So, I think I told you guys about this. I've got all these new machines coming in. I'm working on all these things. I, I tend to do a lot of stuff on my own. Like, I've got a laser machine right there. That's a laser. And uh, so, I bought this new thing yesterday. And uh, or a while back, but I finally got to try it yesterday, and I want to show you guys because I set it up the other day. That's why I couldn't get that video, but I never got an opportunity to try it. And now it's not great, you know. It's, there's a big learning curve, but uh, I always try to make the first thing I make. I try to have. Um, I plan on keeping it. I don't give it away. I don't get rid of it. It's I kind of set it on. Uh, I don't know. I was gonna say uh, I set it uh, somewhere special where with all the other stuff that's important in my life, uh, just to kind of show all these little steps and where I started from and all that. So um, it's not really on a shelf. I was going to say shelf. It's not really a shelf. But anyway, I have this little section where I keep all the things that are very important to me and where I, and my first products. 
and I try to make it important. So this is the one I made today. And uh, it says, when you feel like quitting, remember why you started. And this is about us. So um, sometimes I make it about my family. Sometimes I make it about my friends. This one's for us. So let's not forget just what kind of shape we were in when we started our journey. Or if you are about to start your journey, you're going to want to look back to where you are today and just see why. What kind of shape was I in? What did I want to start? Uh, did you have a lot of health issues? Or did you just want to get in better shape for activities? Whatever it is, it's important to think back and not forget why we're doing this because it's easy to slip up. I still slip up after what, nine months now. I forget how long it's been, but around nine months. And uh, it happens. But we bounce back, right? Always bounce back. There is no plan B, folks. We got to hit our target. We have no choice. We have nothing to fall back on. Okay? There's no parachuting. So either we make it or we're done, right? So uh, that's pretty much my only message for today. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I think this is going to be my new favorite cup for a while. Uh, as a reminder, especially whenever days aren't going so well. I wish I could put a picture of my kids, my wife. Hmm. Anyway, maybe I'll do that with a laser or something. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, yeah, got some work to get done and uh, some things to ship tonight. And that's pretty much it. So feeling good, though. I, I am feeling really good. I just uh, I'm getting a little bit annoyed to be in the high 70s there. I want to want to get going again. So I'm getting that itch to get pretty intense pretty soon. So we're going to see how that goes. All right, folks. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.